Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Today I am showing you guys how I lay my wig. This is a curly unit that I, a stylist made for me here in Vegas. I will leave her Instagram as well as her the link to her website of where you can purchase this hair the best curly hair i've ever used in my life i'm not even i'm not even kidding like it's amazing like i've used her hair company this this does not compare like at all this hair is so soft so if you guys like to see how i lay my wig and all that stuff just keep watching and i'll see you guys in my next video make sure you follow me on snapchat and instagram both jamie with eight eyes people so many people ask me to do this video disclaimer I'm not a hairstylist I don't claim to be one I know I can't do hair that's why I do makeup and just wear wigs and do the best I can so don't come for me if I'm doing something wrong help me out give me constructive criticism if you see something that I can be doing better because yeah but this is how I put my wig on and it is a curly wig. I just got this one made. And my hairstylist is the bomb. Key to success. She's amazing. This is her hair too. Her hair is the best hair I've ever had. I've only tried a few curly hair. But this is from her. I'll put the link down below. And when I tell you the curly hair is so soft. Um, she makes all my wigs and colors them. And she's she does amazing. Like she's the goat. And so I already have my wig cap on. And as you guys see it's like already all that stuff because you know you know yeah well it's already that's just I put the powder foundation on this cap so it's the same color as me and I'm going to put it on make sure that everything is secure and personally I'm not into wearing it like super far on my forehead because I just feel like it's obvious like like I feel like you can tell that your forehead is not that is not that short short can your forehead be short like I, I just feel like you can tell that you know your forehead isn't that big I mean isn't that small so I don't really put it like I, I kind of keep it true to my hairline but I will pull it just just a little bit a little bit and I don't be messing with that glue stuff like I let her do that I just use the got to be because we don't need I don't need none of my edges coming out so I'm gonna take it on the back of my hand and when I first used to do this I used to be the girl with the crusty frontal like me and frontals have had our sh man we've been through it like I when I first started wearing them I just did not understand the concept like I'm like why do my it's like I would use the got to be my edges would be all white and crusty and then I'm like I can't be the girl with the crusty frontal and I didn't understand why like when I would um, gel it down like my baby hair would get super hard it's like I wasn't moving the baby hair out the way I just did not understand it at all and it's like I couldn't get it to lay down. It was it was really the hardest thing for me to do. And I just did not understand. Like I would watch videos of like just trying to like how I'm like I'm literally searching on YouTube how to make your frontal, how to lay your frontal without making it look white. And it's like nobody was like it just I couldn't find anything. And it's like I would do exactly what I would see in the YouTube video and it just wouldn't work. And I'm like, this is probably how people feel with makeup, like it was, I felt like it was impossible for me to just get my frontal popping. I'm going to blow dry. And I'm just going to see like it's still... It's still wet. But I'm just going to take like a second layer, a smaller layer. I find that this helps me to just ensure that it's really on there. And then once it's halfway dry, I'm, a, I'm not going to explain. I'm going to explain as I go. So I'm just going to use a little bit more while it's still wet. Blow dry some more. then while it's still like I'm pretty sure it's still wet like I'm pretty sure but this just helps me when I do it this way 
I feel like I can make sure that everything is really on there. But I'll just stick it down and I have my comb as well to really just make sure everything is laid down. I'll let it, I'll blow dry it and like hold on to it as well. I'll use a little bit of this just to make like for the pieces that I feel are not like sticking down and it's always usually the corners but I feel like I don't really care because I don't really wear it back but if I am going to pull it back then I'll, I'll make sure that it's super secure. Can you tell I don't know what I'm doing? So now it's like like way too big. So I'm gonna just wet it down with water. It's just water, nothing else. But this hair is literally everything. Like, it does not shed. This is the best hair I've ever used in my entire life. Like, no joke. And I can see the difference since I have different wigs. I can tell the difference in them. Like, all the two wigs that I have that are for my hairstylist hair, they don't shed. I haven't even... The black, it's like I have a black one. I haven't even washed it. She made it for me when I had my makeup class back in September. And I have yet to wash that wig. And it's still popping. Like that was in September. I have my class September 17th. When I do baby hair, I told y'all, I'm a beginner when it comes to this hair. I don't be trying to do too much and I just use mousse and I put it a little bit on the back of my hand because I don't want it to be like, just, you know, like just look nat unnatural. Like I just try to make it look as natural as possible. So this is like kind of a lot. So I'll push some of it back and then I'll just like, you know, start getting the swoop in. And I'm only, since this is the only part you can see, I'm only going to do the front. And so that is basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps somebody because I need help. But yeah, I'll leave the link down below for the hair if you guys would like to check it out. And I'll see you guys in my next video.